Hi everyone, this is Harshwardhan and you are watching on the web web channel and today we are going to see how to build sitemap for our blog post website with Django. So let's get started. And if you have not yet subscribed, hit the subscribe button and also hit the notification bell icon so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. So at first we need to understand what is sitemap. So see sitemap is a XML file that tells search engine about your website, its relevance, how frequently it's updated. You can think it's like a tool, a power to let the search engine know about your website. Okay, so let's implement that in Django and at first we have to activate our sites and sitemap application. So for this I will go to settings.py and right here inside the installed app I will say django.contrib.sites and django.contrib dot site maps okay save this and we have to make the migration so we'll say python manage dot py migrate great we have migrated now let's create the sitemap so for that we have to get inside the my app and we have to create a new file called sitemap dot py right here we will write from django dot contrib dot sitemaps import sitemap and we will say from dot models import post okay great now we will say class post sitemap and that will inherit from sitemap we will say change frequency change freq f r e q equals to weekly we will say priority priority is equals to 0 0.9 and we will then define define items that will be connected with self and we'll say return post dot objects dot filter and we will say status equals to published so we will find all those items that are having status published and then we will say df last mod last modification that will have self and object okay so this object is the return item and we will say return object dot updated okay see this updated is present inside models where is models models and we have updated so the time when we update the post so it will be object dot post dot updated and we got some errors it says unexpected token this 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 but why i don't know i i'll just save this i will close this sitemap and uh, let me tell you everything about sitemap first so here see this change frequency equal to weekly and priority attribute tells the, about the change frequency of your post pages and their relevance okay so this is the use of change frequency and priority this item method will return the items that means those posts that to be given on sitemap and this last mod is the last modified time so it will return the time when our post is modified so it will be given by object dot updated okay great now get inside the urls.py project urls.py and here we import from django dot contrib dot sitemaps dot views import sitemap 
and we will also import my app dot sitemap import post sitemap okay now inside the path we will say path that is having sitemap dot xml that will have sitemap and a dictionary of sitemaps that will be our sitemap that we have created so it will be sitemaps and uh, for that we have to create that dictionary so we'll say sitemaps equals to our dictionary where we have posts and it's it have value of post site map okay then we have name equals to django dot country country dot sites dot views dot site map save this here we have some error and that is here we should have comma right here and also we should say site maps save this so now i'll run the server i'll say python manage.py run server and i will copy this link get back here paste go to sitemap.xml and we got an error saying site matching query does not exist why because we have not provided site id see it's important to provide site id if you are publishing let's say post on various domain then it's better to have a site id so for this get back in settings.py and right here we will say site underscore id is one save this and now refresh so you can see we have our sitemap but there is a problem here the link is example.com instead of this link for example if i just copy this and copy this and go to this link we'll get nothing because example does not example.com does not exist okay so for this what we have to do we will again go to this link go to admin admin login and inside sites model go to this example.com and here you will just copy this part paste it here remove this remove this and display name will be the same save that and now refresh see we have our link back right here great now you may be thinking that uh, how how django identify this url right so for this i will take you back to views.py uh, no to site dot sitemap.py inside sitemap.py we have a method called items this item method will itself call get absolute url method on the post object and that's how they can create the absolute url for the post okay if you have any doubt just let me know in the comment section or you can ask me on my instagram profile at harshwardhan.ai thank you see you in the next one